always find the call to prayer so beautiful. Like this is the sound, okay? Yeah. It takes so long to find yourself, I suppose. Very pretty. Ready to find some food? Sure. Yeah. I don't think I could ever get sick of that view there. No. Okay. Still kind of learning the ropes of this camera. I'm not sure the stabilization is as whoa. What was that? Sparks coming off the roof. Okay, maybe we should walk a little quicker. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, so far this is magical though. Honestly, I am enjoying it. Me Once you get into that mode of like shutting down the hustle, I don't know if I'll ever get used to that, but yeah. We need to expect a certain amount of that. Of course, when I start filming and it goes black. <laughs> Come back, Mr. Sphinx. Sphinx. Maybe we'll go see if we can catch the show a different night. What you doing there? Oh, just eating some food. What kind of soup is it? Delicious soup. <laughs> Delicious soup. Can you say anything else about it? No. Okay, well, you're great at describing things. And you got like some pitas and hummus and rice and like skewered meats. Normally we're not the meat people, but it might be tricky here. I just got myself a pizza because um, that was really a me vegetarian thing, but I'm sure we'll be fine. It's a bunch of rice. Huh? Oh yeah, that looks really good. Is it going? thing that I was kind of most afraid of. But um should be fun. Yeah. Gonna go see those pyramids. Yeah. We're gonna try it on our own though, so we'll see yeah. how that works. Um yeah. people say it's fine. Yeah. Bumpy First we're gonna go up and have some breakfast on our roof and uh, then we're gonna set out and try to find the ATM. See how it goes. Adventure. You can never get old, it really can't. People always talk about like how you should get your expectations low about the size because they're not going to be as big as you think. They're as big as I thought, or bigger. Like you can see itty bitty people that look like specks. Oh, I see people walking up the hill. Okay, well, we're going to find out in a little while whether or not we're idiots for uh, walking this thing on our own, but it should be fun. Delicious breakfast. 
the juice is so good, it's hard to not just devour it all. <laughs> and there's some falafel and homemade fries, and I'm not sure what the veggie is back there. We'll try that though. Mm -hmm. But this tomato dip thing is kind of spicy and it's amazing. How's the cheese? That's really good. Spicy cheese. Delicious cheese. Mm. It's wonderful. A lesser known fact is that in order to make your camel grow, you need to water it. Really? Sorry, that is definitely a horse. Camel and that's how you may turn it into a, a camel though, to grow the hump. So cool. Let's go get an apple. Uh -uh. Oh, no thank you. You want to put the bit of it? Uh, today? No. We entered at the Sphinx. Yeah, we did. And, um, we bought tickets from the ticket booth. A little intimidating because everybody wants to help you get a ticket. You really don't need anyone to. Um, when we bought the ticket, then we went through a, like a baggage scanner thing, and a guy immediately tried to take our tickets from us and say like, "Oh, you need to have a guide." But we read like, "You don't need a guide." People will try to do that. Even before then, when we were still just purchasing the mm -hmm. ticket, like people are so eager to help you because they want to force themselves into a picture to yeah. your guide. And we really didn't want one. We wanted to do it on our own. Yeah. So at one point, they were trying to rush us. And by they, I mean nobody in an official capacity that works there. So we just got out of line just yeah. to leave us alone and waited until they, there was space to like... Yeah. We thought we had to wait longer, but that was fine. One guy did try to take your ticket from you. Um, yeah. <laughs> and he, he held it tongue, pretty, pretty it hard. Yeah. So like, don't give it up to anybody else. Um, I'm glad that we'd read about all these things beforehand because, I mean, yeah. it was easy enough to sort of brush off the majority of like, do you want a camel ride? Do you want a horse ride? No, thank you. No, thank you. But this one guy like straight up grabbed you by the arm and grabbed me by the arm and would not let go. Yeah. And that, that was a little over the top. So we entered at the Sphinx. I guess there was an entrance over there too, we didn't realize. Yeah. That was something else. It's okay though. Yeah. If you just kind of ignore people, which ignore try not to get it on your nerves, but. Yeah, ignore really hard. Some people are kind of rude about it, but you can't let it get to you. It should be fine. It's Others be are fine day. with just a no thank you, and then they just yeah. give up, which the is nice. Guy's like, what does that mean? And it's like, uh, it means I'm not gonna fall for your scam. That's what it means. I didn't say that, but that's what I wanted to say. Yeah. Anyway, let's uh, let's try to walk up there. Over there is the where the lights show thing at that night. We kind of saw from the roof last night. I hear it's tacky, but I kind of want to embrace the tack. Wow. Again, I kept reading that like. It's smaller than you expect. It's exactly the size I expected it to be. Yeah. So. Are you red? <laughs> Pretty crazy right there. Yeah. Apparently it's like sinking or something. Oh really? It's still flying ground. I mean it's like actually under construction because it's sinking and stuff. That's so cool.
There's a little pigeon. Watch that. Pigeon security cam. Oh yeah, I see him. Like the, the guy at the gate has to look at this. And he's like looking at my face and looking at this and looking at my face and looking at this and like, do I look like this? And he starts <laughs> laughing. Does this look like me? That's funny. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.